Tonight at 10, we are live in Ukraine, a country at war after a huge Russian military offensive by land, sea and air. The onslaught began just before dawn with a barrage of missiles on multiple targets right across the country. Then, with Russian attack helicopters and fighter jets homing in on the Ukrainian army, Vladimir Putin gave this warning for anyone trying to stand in his way. Whoever tries to interfere with us or threaten our country should know that Russia's response will be immediate and lead to such consequences that have never been experienced in history. In the capital, fearing the worst, some are desperate to leave. Others take shelter while their president calls on the international community to help his country. Putin started a war against Ukraine, against the whole democratic world. He wants to destroy my country. He wants to destroy our country, everything we have built, everything we live for. As the invasion progressed, reports of civilian casualties, but the Ukrainian people remain defiant. I will stand up and go. I will do everything for Ukraine as much as I can, with as much energy as I have. I will always only be on my motherland's side. The Russian advance has been met with universal condemnation and tougher sanctions from the West. Putin is the aggressor. Putin chose this war. And now he and his country will bear the consequences. Putin will stand condemned in the eyes of the world and of history. He will never be able to cleanse the blood of Ukraine from his hands. Tonight, this country is under martial law and a curfew in the capital is in place. What now for Ukraine as Russia begins to tighten its grip? And in the sports, European football's governing body UEFA will meet tomorrow where the decision will be made to remove Russia of the right to host this year's Champions League final. Good evening and welcome to a specially extended BBC News at 10 from the Ukrainian capital Kiev, a country under attack after a huge Russian military offensive by land, sea and air. Fierce fighting is taking place, including in several areas close to here, with Russian forces capturing the disused Chernobyl nuclear power plant to the north of the capital. Many thousands of Ukrainians are seeking shelter or trying to leave the major cities. The authorities here say more than 50 people have been killed and dozens have been wounded. 